Hey, how you doing? I just want to go to where a targeted individual is being accused of having schizophrenia, and um, but he, all along he's being targeted as a individual um, in his com own community being gang stalked. So, yeah, I'll just go through that with you now. Or not. Now, hearing voices is not a sign of mental illness necessarily. You have to consider that it can be a military technology. And this is the greatest, uh, I would say, insult to medical doctors that we are not taught this. No medical doctors generally know of military technology that you can, with synthetic telepathy, make people hear voices in their head. Voice to skull. Apparatus for audibly communicating speech using the radio frequency hearing effect. Now we're getting into transmitting voices directly into people's heads. A modulation process with a fully suppressed carrier and input processor filtering to produce an encoded output for amplitude modulation and audio speech processor filtering. Intelligible subjective sound is produced when the encoded signal is demodulated using the RF hearing effect. So again, uh, th they've got um, uh, diagrams here explaining exactly how this can be done. We're talking about uh, putting speech uh, through various frequencies being decoded by the human brain as an actual voice. See, there's nothing crazy about it, even if... Can you expand yeah, on that? Exactly. Yeah. Well, like telepathy. Yeah. You know, the thing with mind control is, is um, very bad because they call it synthetic telepathy. They can induce thoughts in you. They can induce um, uh, voices in your head. And of course, voices in your head, that you're crazy, yeah. you know. They can do that, and they have done that from, at least officially, uh, from the Iraqi First War. They gave orders to soldiers straight into their head. Of course, they were American, interviews. American soldiers? American, yeah, right. And it was this, this did technology... They the, did they use it on the, uh, on the enemy to, as well? Yes, in a way, because uh, I always remember I was so shocked when I saw, saw a picture when, uh, when um, soldiers came uh, from bunkers, Iraqi soldiers. They had bunkers and about three yard uh, walls, you know. They had drinks and food for six months. They had... Americans had... Um, sent helicopters above and they had arabic speaking um, uh, interpreters who spoke arabic to them and they were sending with microwaves orders to come out they were being mind controlled and all of a sudden all the guys came out with no reason at all nobody attacked physically it was just done with mind control you know when you know you're on the side of right you know, you have that, uh, that grace of God, I guess, with you uh, when you know you're doing the right thing. And the right thing's not always the easiest thing. Like I told you, I never in a million years planned on being the, uh, one of the spearheads. Now you were telling me that during the break. How did you it just, like, wow, it just got, and now you've learned more and more about it. Well, uh, after the book came out and I had, you know, thousands of other victims come forward and say thank you for putting a book out on it and, and using whatever, you know, thread that I have with having a couple of initials behind my name, not that... That's any big thing, but uh, um, the one thing that uh, I was happy that the book did is I had a lot of families call me and say, you know, we have a son that's been complaining about hearing voices and complaining of, you know, government surveillance. Uh, we've had him to five different psychiatrists. They've shocked him. They've had him on meds. It never goes away. Now we have a little better understanding. of. So what they do is they put mental health on you. Um, they make yourself sort of you call the police on yourself that uh, there's a disturbance or whatever in your neighbourhood and um, the police come out and uh, they diagnose you with schizophrenia and send you off to a mental hospital and um, this is happening all over the world where people are being uh, targeted. And I'll just finish the video. Yep. Okay. About maybe what he's dealing with. You know, and if that had only happened once it would have been worth having wrote the book. And it's happened hundreds of times um, where people have actually, you know, let psychiatrists do electroconvulsive therapy on loved ones that were voicing these complaints. Now we're kind of going toward an educational campaign 
uh, we need to educate at least local psychiatrists. Now, at the top of the psychiatric chain, uh, Canadian uh, Psychiatric Association, the American Psychiatric Association. We need to educate the psychiatrists what's going on. They have no idea that this some of the targeted individuals are being targeted and um, or they're either in on it. And, um, yeah, it's just ongoing process where we're just going through hell uh a lot of millions of people worldwide and um yeah it's actually ha happening they've got technology that are doing these things so yeah i'll just put on the video association they know very well what these weapons oh they're the people running it yeah they're the ones who started a lot of the mk ultra programs that have advanced to where we're at now now at the local level where you're being maybe mandated to see a psychiatrist they probably are largely ignorant of the technology. But unfortunately, no matter how much proof these victims put in front of psychiatrists, they're not looking at anything. Well, that's the question. How do you tell, because you've always been in contact about real schizophrenics, Then, how do you tell somebody who's crazy versus somebody who... Well, the bottom line is schizophrenia usually starts at an early age. You don't. Most of the victims that I'm talking to can, mm. can pinpoint the time their stalking started and their hearing voices started, and typically it's late 30s, early 40s. You just don't see that with schizophrenia. Schizophrenia uh, is usually 18 to 28 in a male. It can be a little bit later. So uh, wake up. Female. We're being targeted, so now okay? What's is a lot and of I'm just telling being, you that um, as a TI, okay, disorder, that I'm going through this thing every day, and um, nobody's doing on, shit. Nobody's on helping you. That, people you know, your family, and you just, yeah, this is some of the evidence that I have. Most of them kind of have an idea of where it's coming from. Some of them are wrong because the technology is meant to foster a wrong belief, make you think it's you know, your relatives or your parents or you know your work. When in, in reality, at least from what we found with counter surveillance in San Antonio, it's usually a private investigative group made up of former federal employees. Yeah, that's why you've been on the news. You guys have actually caught people before in the act. Exactly. Wow. Oh, man, I tell you. And, and, and so you've got uh, over a million private contractors operating domestically just in just in psyops they admit there's too many clearances out there too many clearances uh and you know looking at mind control technology they've always contracted it out it's never done directly by the cia not since the 60s absolutely wow looking at my channel analytics i have realized that my audience is above the age of 25 and predominantly between the age of 35